What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris and on the show today my friends we got some more Shackalicious XL Gummies. Now these ain't the same as the other XL Gummies. I know you're saying well, you already did a review of the Shackalicious XL Gummies. That's a mouthful. Yes, we did. But these are the Sours my friends. We didn't do the Sour ones so you can check it out right there. It says Sour on the pack. So I grabbed these from my local Walmart. They were, I'll put the price right here. I think it's about almost like two dollars some change. Wasn't too much for this big size bag. I really enjoyed the other Shackalicious XL gummies. It was like big gummy heads of Shack. I was like, that's strange, but the flavors were extra delicious. So when I seen they had the sours, I said, got to pick them up to you and review them. So that's what we're going to do today. Now we have three flavors in this bag, my friend. There's a big 18-wheeler diesel, which is the pineapple flavor, the yellow one right here. Then we have the purple one in the middle, which is a cactus. I thought this is kind of odd that the cactus was purple, but hey, it's Shaq's candy. He can do what he wants with it. The purple cactus one is mixed berry, and then down here you have a green shamrock on the end. Yep, a green shamrock. You would think the cactus would have been green. And then this green watermelon. Now, why is the shamrock green watermelon flavor? Hey, I don't know. If you see Shaq, ask him. But you know what we do here, my friends. We say it's a tasty, tasty, yucky, yucky, so you don't have to waste your money. So we're gonna bust this bag open and give him a try. Now, the last time I opened up a bag of Shackalicious. They just ripped right all the way down the side, and I just dumped them out. You know me, I like my resealable bags, and Shaq did not do that. He just put them in this plastic bag or the company for him. They got a little tear tab, and the tear tab is not here. It's not there. It's right here, almost midway of the bag. So when I pull this, and it ain't easy, I have a nice big hole in the bag. Yes, a talking mouth hole. <laughs> but I guess, hey, if they're super delicious, you don't need to sell them back because you're going to eat them all. So we're going to give them a try and see if they're sour and delicious. Now they are 110 calories if you care about that kind of stuff while you're eating junk food. There it is. 110 calories. You happy? Good. Me too. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Let's get three flavors out, my friends. Let's see here. I could not do that again in 100 years. I just dumped like that, Jonah. And the first three that fell out was the three flavors we needed, my friends. We had the 18 Willow, which is the pineapple. Bam, bam. Okay. It's a, it's a truck. It's a big diesel truck. Pineapple flavor. Then we got the purple cactus. I do not know why he wanted the purple cactus, but hey. And this is going to be the mixed berry, the cactus one. I don't. I can't believe I did that. I dumped three out and it came out like that. And then we got the shamrock right here, the lucky shamrock, which is the green watermelon. Okay, I got something to prop up the bag while we're eating these Shackalicious XL Sours gummies today. Like I said, they're really good sized gummies. They don't they don't um they don't skim on the size. Shaq went all out on that. I think we're gonna go with the green watermelon, my friends, first. Let's give it a try. I said this about the last Shackalicious XL gummies we have. They are not as chewy as most like gummy bears. Gummy bears are real chewy, the gummy worms you buy in stores. But these Shackalicious XL gummies are more like jelly. Um, they're easy to bite into. And you don't have to chew them up as much. This green watermelon is super delicious, my friends. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. The sourness. So on the sour of that green watermelon, you almost get a mix of watermelon and green apple flavor. Maybe that's what he was going for. I don't know. But I'll be honest with you. It works for me. That little sour powder they got piled up on them. It's super delicious. Not over the top sour, but it's got a nice little bite. I really enjoy that watermelon. Let's get into this cactus right here. This mixed berry flavor of cactus right here. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice little bite. I mean, you just bite right into it. I love that. Wow. Okay, Shaq. Shaq delicious. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds me of a Welch's grape juice. If you like Welch's grape juice, you're going to like this. That's a really nice grape flavor. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the Welch's grape juice you get with a nice sour candy powder they put on the outside. Gives it a nice little punch, but not over the top. I mean, this ain't we ain't talking about on levels of Sour Patch Kids. The flavors they put in the gummies with that sourness powder on it is just super delicious. I want to eat another one. Now we got the 18 wheeler or the big diesel as he called it. The big truck pineapple flavor. Let's give it a try. Once again, bite right through it i love that it doesn't taste like that pineapple you get in a lot of candies where it's, you know it's artificial and you know it's kind of a fake pineapple flavor this has more of a real pineapple flavor yes real pineapple okay i probably got shackalicious all in my teeth sorry about that 
Would I buy these again? You dang right I would. These are super delicious. If you can find any of the Shackalicious gummies, XL gummies on the market, I say pick them up. The bag I had before was super delicious. But this today of the sours that he made are on the same level. The key thing about his gummies is he don't make them so, so hard to chew. Some gummies are hard to chew up and they wear your mouth out and your teeth. These are kind of a soft bite through jelly and they're just super delicious. The flavors in these are really, really good. So whoever put these together for Shaq that he worked with, they did an excellent job. So I definitely give it two thumbs up and it is definitely a buy. It's not a pass. You want to buy these. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment. Until the next time, my friends, you know what to do. Stay safe and keep tubing.